So I am here at this uh, wonderful ecosystem and I'm going to take a walk down there and uh, hopefully I will not fall in the water. So uh, let's see. Okay. I should be coming with you? Uh, yeah, as long as it's safe. If it starts getting too rocky, it will change. So we're going to walk down here through this, try to get to the water and not fall in the water would not be good. See a lot of leaves that are decaying and here we are, we're right at the pond. There it is. Made it. So why is this an ecosystem? We have abiotic factors, which is the water. The water is definitely abiotic, it's not living. And then we also have some living things here. We have green trees, we have plants. We can't see the organisms, but you can hear them. So I'm going to take a sample of this water and try not to fall in it to see what I can get out of the water. Because the water itself is a huge ecosystem. There are a lot of lives, there are a lot of uh, organisms in the water as well. Alright, try not to fall in here. Uh oh! oh. Got some water and pour it in the gallon. And hopefully find something in here. Try this again without falling in. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. This might be the... Okay. I made it without falling in. I know you guys wanted to see me fall in, but it didn't work. So I got to... Make sure I wash my hands for any microorganisms that uh, may be in the water so I don't get sick if I put it on, eat some food. No, this is not orange juice, this is pond water. This is decaying wood, so if the wood is decaying, you see all the little lines? You also have algae growing on it. If the wood is decaying and it has holes in it like this, that means that there are organisms that are burrowing through the wood. Okay, little by little this wood will, will disappear because of the organisms that are eating it away. Who knows how long this wood has been here, but in a few years it's going to disappear because all different types of organisms are eating on it. More moss. I found a spider web. So this shows you that there's life here. See the spider web? Ah, there we go. We found something moving, doing its job in the ecosystem. Big black ant. See if we could follow it. So it's on the leaf looking around, trying to decide which leaf to take. It's got so many choices. Or which chunk of the leaf, I should say. I don't think it would take the whole leaf. Maybe it could. Okay, a leaf just fell on my shoulder. I thought that was an organism that fell on me. 
a lot going on in the water, a lot going on on the land as well. You see the organisms on the water? They're depending on whatever is on the water to live. That's the ecosystem at work. All these different organisms are doing their thing. They have their niche, which means that they have a role, function to provide on, in this ecosystem. And they're all working together to survive in one place. When you look closely at these leaves, they have been chewed up. There are holes in these leaves. This is evidence that something was eating at these leaves. Okay, there's some kind of parasite, something that's living off this, these plants. Again, the organisms are just relying on these plants. That's their little habitat. And everywhere you see decaying leaves, those are, the leaves are being decayed by different microorganisms. They're consuming them, they're eating them, and they're recycling all this material to go back into the soil and also into the air. Time to climb back up the hill. There's more organism. It's a squirrel hopping along on its merry way.